through the last 30 seconds when he came after you with everything he had? He had? <laughs> I got to rewatch it. So the last 30 seconds of the fifth round, he came after me like an animal? I got to rewatch that. I can't tell you. I have a bad memory as it is, so I can't tell you what happens in sparring sessions. I can't tell you what happens anywhere. I just go through life. I'm happy go lucky. <laughs> I've got a question for you, Chris, over here. Um, congratulations. That was obviously an amazing performance for you. But before the fight, I'd heard some rumblings that maybe you didn't have a great camp. There were some changes in the coaching staff. I just wondered if you could talk about that and, and let people know whether or not it, in fact, was uh, maybe not the greatest camp for you. Uh, yeah, to be honest, it was, it was, I think it was probably my worst camp ever. But, um, you know, we got the job done. I had, uh, for two weeks, I haven't been able to hit, hand, uh, hit pads. Even in the locker room, I didn't hit pads. long ago. my hand got messed up two weeks ago. Uh, had to go to the doctors, make sure it wasn't broken. It was just ligament issues. Uh, and then my knees, you know, I kind of I kind of might have started a little fast into camp, and my knees were not where they should have been, but I pushed through, and I refused to make excuses on why I shouldn't, uh, you know, win this fight. So, But if I had to be honest with myself, it was probably my worst camp as far as just everything was going wrong. I had a lot of, a lot of issues.